Well, I'm very lucky to be here on behalf of my friend Quentin in South Africa near Pretoria in the largest urban reserve in the country, I believe. He's taken us out here to dehorn some rhinos to protect them from poachers. Uh, it's a fascinating experience, it's something that we don't get to see a lot in the States and uh, we understand the significance of the endangeredness of the species, but we don't really get to see it up close. Uh, everyone knows due to the poaching, uh, these animals are massively under pressure and all they want is the horn, so it makes sense to remove the horn and you remove the temptation from the poachers. This guy has been dehorned as you can see. What we do is we do a, the cock and morkel method where we remove pretty much all the horn from this rhino. So for the poachers to poach this rhino there's a huge risk and a very low reward and they will move on to the next place to find animals with big horns. White rhino are fairly sensitive to the drugs we use so we monitor them really well, try and keep it as short as possible and that's why we use a chainsaw because it's really quick and fast and we think that's the best tool to do the job with. As I'm looking at the camera there's a rhino to the, to the right and to the left of me that we just darted with the helicopter in the back in another effort sponsored by, by ERP. This reserve itself was recently a target of free poaching incidents so with the Christmas season coming in you know there's a lot of poaching activity and one of the things that we can do to prevent that is rhino dehorning so you know, we uh, have the helicopters here all sponsored by a bunch of generous people and uh, dehorned about eight rhinos today. We dart them from the helicopter. Uh, when they go down, we're there to support them and remove their horns. And uh, we're probably going to do it two more. We've been doing this for the past four years in South Africa. Me, together with a team of veterinarians in South Africa, have dehorned over 1,200 rhino. That's black rhino and white rhino. And we have lost very few of these animals due to poaching. So we seriously think it is an effective anti-poaching tool and something that should be used much more often in this country. In Zimbabwe and Namibia, they've been using it for years with very good effect. So we need to apply it here more often. We now also put the drone in at uh, Reed Flay itself just for some extra security. And we're currently also getting uh, extra security in the cameras at the gates, things on the fences so that they can't do line breaks so that the rhinos can be protected here in the reserve and that we can stop the poaching. The ability to actually touch and see and be around these creatures has been a fantastic experience and I just hope that the work that uh, ERP is doing is really making a difference, which I totally believe it, it is after seeing and walking through the reserve today. You know, I spent most of my time in the office uh, on the for-profit side of groupelephant.com. We have businesses all over the world, in fact, offices in 26 countries where we work on a daily basis and we take 1% of our revenue and put it into ERP. And it's just such a privilege to know and to be out here that, you know, every day we, we work away, you know, contributes to this effort to save these elephants and, and rhinos' lives. So. You know, this is what this de-awning activity today at Ritzlay is all about and uh, it's a tremendous success of a bunch of people working together to save these beautiful creatures. From Tuani Nature Conservation side, we want to just thank ERP, all the guys, the excellent ground team we had. Um, all of them worked very hard today to make this a huge success. So from Tuani Conservation, from our side, thank you guys. You guys are great and we're looking forward to the next project that we'll be working together. This has been an extraordinary, amazing experience. I feel like I'm dreaming. I don't even know how to describe it, but the work that ERP is doing is unbelievable, and I just I feel so grateful to be here.